Hi guys, Erin here for another book review. Today I'm going to be doing Hunger My by Michael Grant, which is book two of the Gone series. I took a heck of a lot of notes because the book is very long, but it is such a good read, so I highly recommend it. Anyway, uh, spoilers ahead, so beware, so don't be mad at me if you watch the rest of this video. Okay, the summary. Three months after the first book ends, Sam Temple and his friends go to fields to harvest food. Starvation is imminent in the phase, and to recap everything, the phase is the Fallout Alley Youth Zone, which is the nickname for Perdido Beach, California, in the series. Okay, and they discover mutated worms they call Zeeks. Uh, new, characters are, new characters are introduced like EZ, Duck Zhang, Computer Jack, and Zill, and there are other characters I haven't introduced yet because there are a lot of characters, and if I just continued with them, then this video would be an hour long. Um, EZ dies, but I forget in which book. Uh, Duck is a mut mutant. Uh, Computer Jack is a superman, strong intellectual with a for, a, for a love for all things technology. And um, Zill is the leader of the human crew, which is sort of like the anti-mutant thing. So like in X-Men, it would be the humans hating the mutants just because they're mutants. I don't understand why anybody would hate mutants. I mean, wouldn't it be awesome to have superpowers? Like, seriously. Um, and after Sam and his friends are doing their thing, Zill takes upon himself to make an example of some of the mutants. Uh, to prove their normal humans are brave and not to be trifled with, he um, decides to torture and pretty much kill a lot of the mutants, which is very unfortunate. Um... They decide to go after Hunter, one of the characters who accidentally killed one of his friends. He isn't killed, but he does leave Perdido Beach, but not unharmed. Uh, we are also introduced to the Gaia Phage. Gaia means life, and Phage, I forget what that means, it's Latin for something. It's mentioned in the book anyway. Um, I'm not saying anything about what or who the Gaia Phage is. But it will prove to be a problem for Sam and the others, and especially Astrid's younger autistic brother, Little Pete. Um, remember maybe in the first video how I said the Gone series was like X-Men meeting Lord of the Flies? Well, Zill is one of the mutant haters, like the normal humans in the X-Men series. And if I wasn't a mutant in the series myself, if I was in the series, I would so be a mutant lover, and I would be hated for it anyway, but... I'm used to being hated, used to being hated, but I'm not going to go into that. Um, I wonder what power I would have, but like with my personality and everything, my mom would say, pro she actually read the first book, she told me that I would probably have like premonition powers or something, and for those of you who don't know what premonition powers are, that's like the ability to see the future. Um, that's a whole other story. But um, remember in The Walking Dead, that scene where Glenn Ree was killed by Negan with the, what do you call it, the baseball bat with the wire around it? The seal? I actually just remember the name. He had his head bashed in and could barely speak to um, his wife, Maggie. But in that scene, I may be wrong here, but I think whoever wrote that episode was possibly reading Hunger before. Because there are so many similarities between that and the book. I'm not even joking. It is absolutely crazy. Like, they both got their heads bashed in. They both couldn't speak properly and process words at a normal level. But in this case, Hunter didn't die. And I could be totally wrong here. And it could just be a huge coincidence. But the scenes are just so similar. Check it out. Um like, do your own research or anything, but, like, I would highly recommend the series. Okay, on to my favorite characters. My favorite characters are Computer Jack, Brianna, The Breeze, Decca, and Mary, Mother Mary Terrafino. Computer Jack reminds me of my brother, in a way, because he's strong and intellectual, and he's humbled and awed by his power, and a gamer at heart, and he's good with technology, and those are, like, all my brother's qualities. Um, I also like Brianna, because... She has high levels of energy that can rival me or beat me. Um, she has the power of in inhuman speed. 
and I actually tried to get one of my friends to read the Gone series because Brianna was pretty much his dream girl. And he's like, oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. He wasn't really a big reader, but when I described Breeze to him, he's like, oh my god, that is my dream girl. It was so funny. His expression was priceless. Um, I also like Decca because she's badass on another level and she has gravitational powers. So she can levitate anything or make anything drop, like with the zero gravity thing or whatever. And Mary, she's the motherly type who looks out for the babies and kids of the Fae's. And she's secretly battling bulimia, but I like characters who are either relatable or have flaws. Not that I have bulimia because I love food too much, but, um, yeah. And no insult to people with bulimia or anything. Um, my least favorite characters. Now it's to page two of the notes that I took. Um, my least favorite characters are Drake because he's crazy for the sake of being crazy. And he's obsessed with killing Sam, beating Astrid, and pretty much any woman in general. And I'm left wondering how he's the favorite antagonist over Kane Snorin. And I also hate Zill because he fears what he doesn't know or understand. And I know it's human nature to fear the unknown, people say, and that gets on my nerves. Because, well, that's another story for later. But Zill hated the mutants and wanted them to pay for their accidental so-called crimes. Like Hunter accidentally killing his friends. And Zill wanted him to die. I mean, oh my god, that's just so much to handle, right? Um, my favorite parts were when Albert Hillsborough went to McDonald's in the phase and started cooking and feeding the kids of the phase. And I also liked the scene where Albert ran out of food in McDonald's and then turned it into the Mick Club, which was a dance club for the mutants and the normal, and Brianna got to dance around with her speeding powers, so as the scene was progressing, I was just thinking to myself, she's dancing around like completely nuts, like with her arms waving everywhere, her hair going all over the place, and that scene was just so funny. Um... My least favorite part was the scene where Hunter was put on trial and hung before the burnt-down church by Zill and the human crew, and when he was banished from Perdido Beach, which was really, really sad. Because you would think in a situation like that, people would stick together after being through something that they've all, like, experienced. Um, also, the quotes I like. Superpowers don't always make you a superhero, says Beth Zhang. Um, on one occasion or another, my brother sometimes says I can be a bit antagonistic or simply a chaotic neutral character who fights for her own gain. My gain, anyway. But that's like... I don't think I would be willing to kill anyone, but I definitely wouldn't want to not back away from the fight. I mean, I would... If I was in a fight with Duck... With, not with Duck. With uh, Zill, I would still punch him in the face. I mean, you just want to see him suffer. Um, two other quotes I like. You can't be trapped by other people. You can only be trapped by your own fear. Defy and win. And the other quote. She felt no pain. She saw no light. She heard, but barely. Her heart was still in silence, yet she did not die. That was about the character Brittany, who's pretty much the zombie of the phase. And that's, I'm going to explain later, but that's it for today. I think I've talked your ear off enough, so have a good day, everybody!